Hello everybody and welcome back to Linda Bell. For this week's video, I'll be styling my favorite color this time of year for the fall, which is camel. And I'll be wearing them and incorporating this color into a lot of different outfits that I have for this week. Whether it's a business casual outfit or something on the weekend, a little bit more trendy and casual, some sneakers in there. They're all going to be from very affordable places. And as always, I will have everything that I wear, all the accessories, outfits, pieces, linked down below. You can find them and shop them easily if you're interested in this time of year. Now that it's getting really cold out here in New York City, I feel like it's the perfect neutral for every outfit. So stay tuned for what I have to show you guys. If you're new here, I would love if you were subscribed to this channel, give this video a like. I have a lot more videos coming and without further ado, let's jump into the video. First outfit is the one that I'm currently wearing. This blazer, as I mentioned in the intro, is a camel blazer, but it's actually like a cardigan material, so incredibly soft and comfortable, and it's really thick, so in the nice fall weather, I can wear this alone without a heavier coat. But this one is actually from Nourish and Rack, originally from J. Crew, and it was pretty inexpensive for what it was, I think around $30 on sale, and I'll have it linked down below, but I love it as a classic blazer. The nice structured silhouette without being uncomfortable and restrictive. I have it paired with the lace cami, which is one of my staples for this time of year to wear under a bunch of blazers. This one is from Shein, it's just a basic black cami. You can find something like this everywhere, pretty much. And then I have it paired with black jeans that are from American Eagle. And actually I bought these online, so they're extra short, which is only available online. And I have it with the statement leopard belt, so still in the same neutral color tone and gold hardware. And then for my shoes, to bring in the belt, I have these Primark Leopard uh, flats that are pointy-toed so they elongate my legs just a little bit because I am quite short at 5'2". I actually featured this in one of my first ever videos. I think my first ever video, Primark haul. That is outfit number one featuring this beautiful camel cardigan blazer from Nordstrom Rack, originally J. Crew, and I absolutely love it and highly recommend this, you guys. It's one of my staple outfits. Next up, I have the camel sweater that started my obsession with this. I bought this last year from H&M, and it's just a mock neck sweater, and it's super thick and wooly and warm for this time of year. It's also slightly cropped. I also have it tucked into my jeans. Same jeans from earlier, but slight front tuck to tailor a little bit and define my waist just a tad. Same belt and same jeans, American Eagle and Boohoo leopard print, and as you can probably tell, I have a slight obsession with leopard print as well because it's in this neutral family that I love, and I have the scarf from Nordstrom paired with it, and it ties in this all casual look. I can just imagine wearing this walking down in Soho, shopping around at all the shops. And then for my shoes, I switched out the leopard flats for some black booties. These are from Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack actually, and they're the Blondo brand. They're suede, but they're actually waterproof, and I've tested it a couple times in the rain, and they are definitely waterproof, so great investment. They're about $60 on sale, and I think Nordstrom also has them year-round, not on sale, so definitely check out Nordstrom Rack as a good tip for finding cheaper clothing. One final pan of the outfit, and I'm actually going to add on a hat and my bag for this, so... Give me a second. So here I've styled this outfit with a couple more accessories. I've added on this olive green cabbie cap from Forever 21, so very inexpensive. But I actually have not worn this out before because I don't feel like my head suits caps and I don't really know how to wear it. I'm not sure if it looks weird, if it looks slightly too large or what, but if you're trying to be trendy, definitely like something like this would be perfect for your outfit to make it just that more stylish. I've added in my everyday Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag. This next outfit I've actually worn to work before. Although I did accessorize this uh, particular outfit to be a little bit more casual and trendy, I would typically not wear this headband to work, but it's actually one of those pearl turban headbands. It's from Amazon and I got a pack of four for like $12. Very inexpensive and this one is in a mustard color, so it goes along with the camel very well and it's perfect for fall. The camel piece in this, it's slightly darker camel, a little bit more brown. It's this beautiful ribbed long line cardigan from Walmart. Very inexpensive, around $15 and I've gotten a lot of wear out of it. I have it paired with the same black lace cami from Shein that I wore in my first outfit and this skirt that I always wear. This is a plaid black and white skirt from J. Crew outlet. I bought it three or four years ago during Black Friday. I have it paired with this beautiful quilted bag. It has a Chanel vibe to it, but it's actually from DSW and it's beautiful. I have it in gray too and I have it paired with these Target over the knee boots. I have got these last season, but I just got the gray version for this year and they have a slight platform heel about two inches. Very comfortable. I've worn these all day. I love this outfit. I think it's very trendy. Perfect for a weekend out with friends, a little brunch, something like that. I think if it gets too cold here, 
winter, definitely pair it with some tights. In the winter, I love to wear skirts, but it gets way too cold for skirts, so I wear tights with everything. Black tights for every outfit works perfectly, especially those fleece line tights if it gets super cold where you are. This next outfit I have paired is so cute with the hair bow accessory. This one I got last year, my first Primark haul as well. It's like a snake print tie-up, so I have my hair in a half up, half done type of look. And my camel piece is this beautiful mock neck cashmere sweater. Super lightweight, but very warm. It's from Everlane. I got it during their pop-up sale that they had at Chelsea Market. And it was really inexpensive for a beautiful 100% cashmere sweater. So I absolutely love it. And I think it's a good staple for me, especially someone who's so obsessed with this color, to have a really nice piece to mix in with all my really inexpensive pieces. So for example, this skirt is originally from Boohoo. It was maybe $12. It's very, very lightweight. So definitely won't keep you warm. So you will probably have to put tights underneath those fleece line tights, as I mentioned. But I think this look is so cute. I have it paired with my gray over the knee boots that I just mentioned. I got this year from Target. And they were also really inexpensive and they have that little black heel for easy walking. That is my look. I think it's so playful, very girly. I have a style for a more casual day out with friends, walking around, maybe checking out Central Park, going to a couple of the touristy things. If you're at Chelsea Market, getting my favorite tacos, Los Tacos number one. Best tacos in New York City in my opinion. I'm going to add a couple pieces to make it a little bit more uh, weather appropriate. I've gone all out with this neutral brown toned color story. So I paired this actually beautiful camel coat. It's from Topshop. I got it Black Friday last year so I could wear it for this year. And it has a really extravagant fur collar that's removable. So if it's a little too extra for your daily, you can take it off. And it'll be just a plain, beautiful, classic camel coat. It has beautiful tortoise shell buttons here. Very beautiful, and I absolutely love this outfit. I have it paired with my everyday Louis Vuitton Everfull. Perfect outfit, I think. This next outfit is definitely a more casual one and something I would wear with sneakers or with the loafer mules that I picked up from Payless about two years ago now. They're Gucci inspired. But the main focal piece of this outfit is this leopard dress that's in the camel color tone as well. It's from Shein and it has these ties on the sleeves. So just a little extra accent point that I want to highlight. And how you can wear dresses like these in the winter is by layering a very basic black or white long sleeve underneath. This one is actually a bodysuit, so don't have to worry about tucking or anything moving or shifting or whatever. And it's also a mock neck. Mock necks are incredibly trendy this season as well as last season. So really, really good for the fall. Keeps your neck a little bit warmer. Let me show you how I would style it for the cold weather. Might as well really play up that extra factor and layer on whatever fur coat you have. This one is faux fur and it's in a mauve pink color. It's from Target. It was really inexpensive on sale for about like $25. So soft and smooth. That's what I would wear to make it a little more weather appropriate. This next outfit is another nice, fun, casual, and trendy look. So once again, the camel piece is a leopard piece. It's actually a slip midi skirt from Walmart. Very inexpensive and incredibly high-waisted. And I think it also fits in this family tone really well. Very neutral, but also a statement piece because of the loud print. I have it paired with a lot of blacks to tone it down. So for my top, this is actually thrifted. It's originally from All Saints. It's just a short sleeve t-shirt that I've knotted in the front to define my waist just a tad. And then I have it paired with another Walmart piece, which is this moto jacket. Super comfy and casual. I have it paired with the same shoes from earlier the Gucci inspired mules. For my hair accessory, I added on the black version of the headband with the pearls. Actually, it has enough contrast in my hair color that it does stand out. So I like it for a little bit more toned down look. As a whole, I really like this outfit. It's a bit more casual. I usually don't wear midi skirts because I'm 5'2 and I feel like it makes me look a little bit shorter. But this one actually hits perfectly at my calf length. Yeah, hope you guys like it. This next outfit is one that I've actually worn for just without these leather leggings. These leggings are from H&M and I'm testing them out but I don't know how I feel right now. They are like not the most flattering but I'm trying to find cheaper alternatives to the Spanx leggings because $98 is very steep but depending on the sale this year for Black Friday, I might pick them up. I don't know yet. I've heard such great things but I just, oh $98 is a lot of money. But we'll see. I have it paired with this basic white long sleeve t-shirt. 
and I just have that tucked in and then the camel piece for this outfit is this long line vest it's very lightweight so it doesn't really provide any warmth it's more for fashion over anything it does have real pockets it's also from Walmart one of those pieces so incredibly inexpensive and I actually saw something similar on Amazon it's slightly oversized a little bit too big for me but it is really cute still and then I have the same headband from earlier on so let me know what you guys think. Should I return these or should I keep them? Um, should I just invest in the Spanx leggings? $98, but if they're worth it and I wear it a lot, then maybe, right? And I forgot to mention, but these loafers are also in a nude color and they're beautiful, also Gucci inspired. Clearly, I love this aesthetic. They're from Amazon, actually, from Jen Ardor. She's a good designer on Amazon. It has a bunch of really beautiful shoes and these are great. It just has a neutral flat that elongates my foot as well. And last but not least, my most favorite and comfy home outfit featuring this beautiful camel sweater. And it's from H&M as well, and it's just a really basic camel sweater. Nothing special about it. Also has that mock neck, so similar to all the other sweaters that I've shown you guys. But this one I like for a more casual setting. So I have it paired with my black favorite leggings from Fabletics. They're just so nice. They actually feel like Lululemon leggings to me. And I have it paired with my at-home mouse slippers, so... Just really casual. I was going out, I can just pair something, a uh, jacket over it really quickly, layer it up, change out the shoes from some basic white sneakers, and I'm good to go for a very casual errand running trip. That concludes pretty much all of my outfit for you guys. I hope you guys liked it, and please let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. So that's all I have for this week's video. I hope you guys really like the outfits that I styled and get yourself some camel for the season. Definitely a good staple and basic to have with every outfit. Next week I plan to have another video out so stay tuned for that and I hope you liked today's video and if you did definitely subscribe and leave a comment down below. I'd love for you guys to come back and visit my channel and get notified whenever I do so so definitely hit that notification bell as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!